What's going on everybody? As you guys can see, we're back playing more Stardew Valley. You guys absolutely loved it. The video blew up a little bit. Thank you so much for the support. If you guys want to keep seeing Stardew Valley content, go ahead and subscribe below because it looks like I'm going to be uploading a ton of it. So first up, what we're going to be doing today is the volcano. Now, uh, if you don't know about the volcano, it is a new dungeon in the game. If you don't know how to get across this lava, you just need to use your watering can and you can cross this little bridge here. Now, the volcano dungeon, if you will, isn't that large. It is only 10 floors. On the fifth floor, there is a little shop. You can buy a couple new recipes and you can spend 100 cinder shards on a new pair of boots, which is better than the iridium boots. So you definitely want to pick those up once you get to 100 cinder shards. But again, this entire area is only 10 floors. The enemies are difficult. There you saw a what I believe to be a dragon in the lava because it dropped a dragon fang. But here you can see the first level of the dungeon. It functions pretty much identically to the um, other two dungeons in the game except you know, the enemies are fire themed. I definitely tore through a lot of my health. And one thing that is going to be pretty common in this dungeon is having to use your watering can. Floor five does have a pool of water in case you run out of water in your watering can. I have an Iridium watering can, so that wasn't an issue at all. Once you finally progress to the 10th floor, you will be at the top of the volcano. And here you can grab a golden walnut. And there is a chest over here which actually has a prismatic shard in it. If you don't know, prismatic shards are extremely hard to get. But also on here we have some sort of uh, forge. Now, this kind of works similarly, similarly to enchanting in Minecraft. If you have played Minecraft, um, you can put a weapon here. I decided to put the galaxy sword and I actually decided to use the prismatic shard that they gave us instead of a diamond because I don't really have a use for a prismatic shard. So enchanting it, if you will, costs 20. Um, you get a random buff on it. The currency used here is cinder shards and the enchantment, wherever you want to call it that I got, is the haymaker. I actually don't know what the haymaker buff does, but I'm sure there's a ton of other buffs that you can do. There was option to put my tools in there also. Once you complete it, you can open this door and you are back at the start. And you can use that door to get back to the forge whenever you want. And now we're going to get into an exciting part of the video where we look for golden walnuts. Now there you can see there's a little ring of rocks where you can get a golden walnut using a hoe. There's a little secret pathway there as well where you can go get this golden walnut that is pretty well hidden. Here's another little rock circle that you can use the hoe to get a golden walnut. To the left, there is another little ring that you can use the hoe on to find this golden walnut. That golden walnut that's in the trees, we'll be getting it later in the video as well. I just decided to do the ones that I found. Now, I used a bomb here. Um, I was, I didn't even try to see if you needed to use a bomb, but you can walk straight through this. That's right above where you find uh, Professor Snail. And you can grab these two golden walnuts. Again, I'm not sure if you need the uh, bomb or not, but yeah Now this is the shipwreck on the left side of the island. You can actually walk into it And next up we have this oddly shaped flowers. Of course, there is a golden walnut in there because why would there not be? And next up we have a secret little cave you can see up there above that palm tree and this is Sort of a mini game of sorts um, fast forwarding because it took me a little bit to do this you basically just need to repeat the pattern that the statue gives. It is a little bit difficult. It gets a little quick. It starts off pretty slow. I think I got a pretty easy pattern as well. The pattern does change each time. So keep an eye on that. You're not going to be like adding one to the pattern each time. And you have to do this for a total of five times. You can see it's starting to speed up a little bit and getting a little more difficult. Honestly, when I got to the last round of this, I guessed a little bit because I completely forgot what I had just seen. Honestly, this is just going to be one where you just kind of have to keep guessing and hope for the best. Uh, I saw some people in the subreddit said that they recorded it like on their phone and then they watched it back so they were able to do it. Honestly, that's some pretty good advice. Next up, there is a green little Dougie here who if you walk close to him, he runs away. If you want to get a golden nut walnut from him, just water him and then he will drop a golden walnut. Next up, there is a golden walnut in the starting area. 
we're going to be getting that one but you actually have to go up a little bit and you can see behind this tree there's you can see like a little staircase it's kind of hard to see but you go down there and you are able to go down to the golden walnut next up we are going to be getting that golden walnut that is in the tree you go back to the top left and you walk up against the trees you'll eventually walk into the forest and you'll be able to grab this golden walnut a lot of the golden walnut collecting is honestly just walking up against random walls and hoping that something happens and one last thing we're going to cover with the golden walnuts is the tree house where leo is so there is a tree in here and if you hit it with an axe you will get a golden walnut now one important other tip is talking to this parrot will actually give hints to where other golden walnuts are so here he says there's three nutty stones in the fire mountain so if you get stuck you can ask him for help and yeah that's really where a lot of the secrets are now i finally got to 20 golden walnuts and i was able to buy the sleep hut this was an upgrade i've been wanting to get ever since i saw it now this sleep hut it's it's honestly fantastic you'll see what it does there it pops up a house and a shipping container yes this is a full-on house it comes with a bed that you can use whenever you like and better yet you can sleep in it you wake up in it you don't have to go back to the mainland anymore you can completely forget about your farm your wife slash husband your children and you can just live here instead you can just live on this island you can never have to go back to the mainland and honestly that's not too bad of a price to pay so here i actually talked to the bird and you can actually get a mailbox as well so once you have the mailbox you really don't need to go back to the mainland for anything you'll have a mailbox a shipping container a house you can plant some of the new crops here on the beach here and yeah and for people that are playing through the new update you may be noticing some things that are missing from this uh, video like the frog cave the rare birds uh, the birdies keepsake and stuff like that that stuff we're going to be covering in a later video so if you guys want to see that content go ahead and subscribe and i will see you guys next time